this video, we'll show how to change the three main adjustable features on your flipper assembly in your P3 to change your game's difficulty. Uh, with the game already in service position one, I'm going to open the front door to show off the three main parts of adjustment we're going to address in this video. The first is we're going to add a center post into this hole between the two flippers. The second is these inlaying posts, they could be moved from the lower hole to the upper hole, which will make the outlaying distance a little bit harder to get into. And the third is we're going to adjust the angle of this whole outlaying guide. It can swing out a little pivot about the screw. So I'm going to start with the center post. Um, included with your P3, there is a small center post. It is located in the bag with the slingshot uh, plastics. And to install it, all you need to do is remove the nut from the end. I'm going to pull the flipper assembly out a little to expose that hole. Insert the threads of the screw up through that hole. Start the nut by hand. And then fully tighten it in place with a 5 16 inch nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to tighten that until it's snug. Now there's a center post installed between the two flippers which will generally reduce straight down the middle ball drains. Um, similar to how this post is installed, you can change the location of these two posts. To do so, we remove the flipper assembly. And undo the connector, pull it straight out, and then you would make the changes to just moving this post to that hole. I'm gonna leave them where they are for now. Then the last change we can make is how open the outlines are by swiveling this ball guide. And to do that, to gain access to this nut, I have to remove or temporarily move the wire form out of the way. And to do so, I'm going to loosen the two screws on the frame rail with a 5/32 inch Allen wrench. I'm going to completely take the screw out. I'm just going to loosen the back screw. That'll allow me to pivot the wire form out of the way, which will give me access to that nut. Which, using a 3 8 nut driver, I can loosen this nut, and then I can pivot this outline guide to as far in or out as I, as, as I desire. With it all the way out like this, it'll completely block the outline, as you can see here. So there will be no outline drains in this configuration, which is very easy during gameplay. Something you might consider for a kid's party or if you're just having a little bit too much trouble playing. Um, standard adjustments, you want to slide this in in increments of about an eighth inch, but just be aware that it's easy to make the gap smaller than the width of the ball, so you might inadvertently close off the outlane if you adjust this too much. But for now, I'm going to leave it in the full open position, tighten it back down, and then move the wire form into place. Um, in doing so, this nut that the this nut that the wire form mounts to it may have slid forward or back. Um, if that's the case, you can just slide it forward or back with your tool to reline it up. I'm going to start that screw again, and then positionally, where this wire form goes along the frame rail is the the edges of the wire form on this edge should be roughly flush with the edge of the frame rail. So I'm going to push it back to about there and fully tighten these screws. And just as a visual check, I like to make sure that the output of the wire form fall, will fall within the slotted opening of the flipper plastic. But those are the three main adjustments for your flipper assembly in your P3.